Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're doing really well. Thanks very much for being here. Huge episode, Tuesday vlog. We're back for another week. First thing we always do is grab the overnight sales. We're about to go and do that, but a couple of other things as well today. I get my van back. It's been in service for the last two weeks. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be quite a large expense associated to that service. So we're gonna check out what that is, pick the van up, and I'm gonna bring you all of that information and that update. The other one as well is my 30 day challenge with the death pile. We're 15 listings a day for 30 days and I'm eight days in. So a few sales have come through. I'll give you the update on how that's going as well. So big episode, sit back, relax. Let's go do the first thing, grab those overnight sales. Okay, the first one was the Sims 3. So this was the Sims 3 Seasons expansion pack. This one's got on to sell for $13. I paid a dollar for it in the thrift and uh, track postage is going to be $4.50. So in the end, I'll make about a $7 profit on this one. Look at quite a slow sell through rate on these. They do take a while to sell. And for that reason, I'm probably not gonna pick them up again next time I see them in the thrift. All right, the next one were these Nike Zoom Structure 20s. Now, these were in pretty good condition, but there was a mark right there that I didn't see when I was outsourcing them. So for that reason, uh, I did actually list them for a little bit less, $38, but I got the full asking price. So they've sold for $38 and uh, I bought them for 10 bucks. I wouldn't have bought them otherwise if I'd done a thorough check and seen that mark. So always make sure that you're checking for quality when you're in the thrift, but uh, come away with about a $15 profit on these. Got away with one there because the quality wasn't something I would normally pick up. All right, so these were a very good pair of shoes. These are the ASICS GT2000 women's running shoes. Now, when you're seeing the gel on the sole of the shoe, you know you're gonna make a few more dollars with resale value. I've ended up selling these on a best offer for 50 bucks. So I had them listed up for $65. And I do think if I held on, I probably could have got the full top dollar. But uh, in the end, a $30 profit, just like the way I like to play it, $5 purchase. Not too bad of a turnaround, but if you're seeing these sort of shoes, definitely pick them up. There's always some great money. All right, so I'm just having a look through my eBay analytics and we did $177 yesterday. I generally do about 280 to 300, so a little bit less than normal, but uh, there were seven sales. I've shown you three of them. The other four were DVDs. I put them in the post yesterday. Two of them sold for 10 bucks. One of them sold for $12.50. But there's this one here that I wanted to highlight with you as well. This one is near dark. It sold for $44.50 and uh, I only bought it for 50 cents in that Facebook Marketplace DVD bundle. So if you're happy to sort through the DVDs that you can pick up off Marketplace, every now and again, you'll get an absolute cracker like that one. So I just want to highlight that as a really good DVD sale that I've been able to do just yesterday. <laughs> All right, so we've just jumped in the car. I've got Dad with me. Dad's just said that he doesn't want to be on camera, which is unfortunate. So I reckon a lot of people would want to uh, to see how the old man goes about it. But um, we're going to go and pick up my van. My van has been out of action for the last two weeks, and I'm pretty excited to pick him up. I don't know how much I'm going to have to pay for it. I'm going to go and find out, and uh, I, I think it's going to be pretty nasty, hey? Yeah, I think it could be a couple of grand. Um, not exactly sure what was wrong with it, but we're going to find out now. And uh, the best thing of all, though, will be that I'll be able to start cruising and picking up furniture again and um, not having to rely on using Dad's car. As good as it's been to be able to jump into the ute, it's nice to have my own vehicle. So I'm going to go grab that now. Fingers crossed it's not too much of an expense. Um, it is well, what I'm, it is. Yeah, well, I haven't charged. Uh, I mean, I've, put it, I've charged you two days. Yeah, I've charged you two days labour on it. Holy shit, guys. Um, the bill, the bill for this repair is astronomical. Here, are you ready for it? $4,783. Um, I've blown the head gasket and that cost a bit to repair. And um, the labor charges as well ended up adding up, plus a routine service, um, $4,800. Um, absolutely brutal, no doubt about it. Um, fortunately, I had the money there that I was able to pay for it and get this thing back in my hands and, and to be back on the road now is a very good thing. Um, Took about two weeks that I've, I've not had this van for and I just wanted to provide a bit of a context update for you guys that might be new to the channel. Um, I bought a van initially to start this business of mine um, a, a good six months ago now and I bought one, um, a really reliable, fantastic van um, for about $13,000 um, off Facebook Marketplace and it was a beauty and uh, it got stolen. Uh, a few months ago, I documented the van being stolen and uh, that was really disappointing because I'd only had it for about six or so weeks and to lose it and to know that it was a reliable van was absolutely heartbreaking. Um, but then I was able to buy this van and uh, I got a payout for that initial van that was stolen of $15,000. I bought this van for $10,000. So I actually made on the on the insurance payout a $5,000 flip 
uh, to get this van here. And I thought that this was a pretty good van uh, until only a couple of months in, I've had to go and take it in for a, a new head gasket. So financially, where am I at after six months and two different vans and a whole heap of headaches? I'm still 200 bucks up. So that's the way that I'm trying to spin it in my head right now after paying 4,800 bucks to get my van back in my hands. But uh, there's gonna be a lot of furniture flipping needed to get myself back on track and get a few more dollars in my pocket. I wanna document the good, the bad, and the horrendously ugly, which I've done for you here with this bit of a, uh, a car update. But um, we're back on the road, guys. And uh, the one thing that I really wanna do to make me feel better, a bit of retail therapy, a bit of a thrift run to hopefully find some great items and get a few of these dollars back that I've just had to fork out. But uh, Houdini 2.0, guys, what a whirlwind run it's been. I've always had reliable cars, and then suddenly I go down the van path and I run into a bit of trouble, but um, not to worry, I'm feeling pretty good. I've got my van back, let's get going. Oh, she drives an absolute dream, guys. I'm uh, very, very happy to have her back, that's for sure. Um, yeah, look, we're gonna go to an op shop now, and um, look, the, the death pile situation for me has been ticking along really well. I'm, I've been able to nail about 120 listings over the last eight days, doing my 15 items a day, and I've been able to generate a few good sales from that as well. So I'm not really heavily thrifting throughout the week, but I feel uh, I feel impulsed to do so given the fact that I'm doing a vlog and uh, what I do in large part is thrift items. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm only gonna look for really high-end $100 items. And I might bring in a couple of snippets that I find on interesting items that I might normally purchase. But for today's video, because I'm not actually buying too many items this week, um, I probably won't buy a lot. So let's get into the thrift. We'll have a bit of a dig around. Hopefully I can bring you some useful information and maybe even find Find a really high profit item for myself. We'll see you in the thrift. Collingwood Footy Club polo shirt was the first thing that I found. Now this one only had a $7 price tag on it. Uh, I would have bought this normally if I wasn't uh, trying to punch through a death pile and I reckon you could probably turn that into about, I don't know, $25, maybe $30. Mickey Mouse tea as well, kind of interested me, but uh, I'll probably pass on that normally. Tommy Hilfiger, this is a size large, 100% silk, guys. If you can find Tommy, sorry, did I say Tommy Hilfiger? Tommy Bahama. If you can find that in a thrift, uh, definitely goes on to make a few, but um, I had to put that back on the shelf. Titans, Gold Coast Titans, this was $8. Uh, this was a centenary of rugby league, 100 year Anzac anniversary jumper. Uh, a size small though, so whether or not I was purchasing on this day or not, a size small, I might have ended up passing on it. Um, but I did put that one back on the shelf. Titan stuff usually does sell pretty well for me. A um, few other things as well along the journey. I found this uh, Tommy Hilfiger sweater. This was a size large, $10. Uh, might have thought about buying that one. Could have probably turned it into about 30 bucks as well, but uh, I don't need that today. Uh, I also found this Quicksilver jacket as well. This was a size large for 10 bucks. This one you could have pushed about 50 bucks for, to be honest with you. Um, very good quality, uh, in great nick, and uh, a plain black, always a good color way to find. Um, yeah, I, I actually really like that one, and I could have almost even bought it for myself, but um, yet again, that one was going back onto the shelf. Um, there were actually a fair few things today that I was able to find. Um, the other one were these jeans. I found the 501s, uh, 36 waist, 34 length, as you can see there. Um, these were a, a really decent pair, pretty much in light new condition. So um, I actually ended up buying these ones. These were $12, um, pretty damn good price for a pair of 501s. Uh, I found these as well, some boot cut 503s. They were only $5. Probably don't make as much as you do with the 501s on these ones, but uh, they were a good pair of jeans nonetheless. And, uh, and the 504s for $7. So there was some pretty good denim. But um, in the end, the best pair of denim that you're gonna find here are these button-up um, 501s. So for 12 bucks, I can turn that into about 70. Um, was happy to grab that one. That's $12, that's a good buy. Yeah, great buy. Just on the car, thanks. Oh, you? We still gotta train you up. Give. Give. Good girl. Good girl. All right, you ready? Go. Hey, uh, how are you guys going with your death pile demolition? Well, I kicked mine off last week. Uh, it's been eight days now. It was this time last week that I got stuck into it. I created this and I put it into the vlog. And if you haven't checked out that video, I will link it up here for you guys to go and check out. But things are ticking along really well. As I touched on earlier, 120 listings already eight days in and a number of sales that have come away with it. What I did want to touch on today though was around efficiencies of time. Um, I know a lot of you guys out there are full-time, part-time workers eBay is a bit of a side hustle for you. And even as a full-time reseller myself, I'm still looking at ways to make myself a little bit more efficient when it comes to my listings because this takes up a lot of time. 
And I generally find that Monday, if I do my, say, 30 listings on a Monday, 15 uh, for Monday, and then 15 scheduled up for Tuesday, I can focus on the video that I do every Tuesday with you guys. So that's been a really big unlock for me because I'm now doing listings Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Friday, I'm doing 45 listings a day because I want 15 for Friday, 15 for Saturday and Sunday. Gives me my weekends off. So if you can find yourself a, a period there where you've got sort of six, seven, eight hours maybe that you've got free to yourself, punch out potentially your entire week's worth of listings, but make sure you strategically set them to, uh, to upload on, on every single day of the week. So huge one for me, something that's it's really taken me a, probably longer than it should have um, for me to work out how to be a little bit more efficient in that aspect. And it's such a big unlock for me. And let me know in the comments below if, if you're doing that for yourself as well, scheduling in that time to save time down the line. So I'm definitely ahead of the game at the moment, but I think for this afternoon, I'm just gonna punch out a heap more listings and uh, and then try and edit this video as well. Get it up a little bit earlier and, and try and not make it as big of a day as it normally is. If you've missed last week's video, I'm gonna put that up right here. I do a vlog every single Tuesday, so if you are new to the channel and you've enjoyed this video, this is on a weekly basis. So hit the subscribe button, give the video a like if you're still here watching now and you got anything out of it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Enjoy that one as well. We'll see you in the next.